Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at uh, how the microbit can communicate with another microbit using uh, radio communication. So, uh, at the at the Make Code site, I'm going to click on New Project, and I'm just going to I'll just call this Chat, and we'll hit Create. And uh, almost everything in this project is going to come from the radio category. Uh, there's a few different options here. I'm going to set pull out a, a couple of these that we're going to use uh, to be part of this this project and then uh, I'll kind of make it happen here so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, on start the way that microbits communicate with each other is they they have to belong to the same group and so you identify a group using a number and you know if you're in a classroom and you've got you know 30 kids with 30 different microbits and you're trying to group them up, they've all got to decide upon a number. Um, and so you might pick, I'm going to leave this at radio group one since uh, there's no one else in, in this uh, room. And so we'll leave it to one, but uh, I would recommend with my kids to decide upon a number uh, between whoever is doing the communicating. Okay, and then the next thing I want to do is uh, maybe on, on a button press, I would like to send a signal. I would like to send something like hello. Real, real simple here. Okay, so send a string hello when the A button is pressed. Well, as a recipient of that uh, signal, so imagine as someone, you, you just sent the hello uh, string, but maybe someone else is sending you something else. So as a recipient, you want to hear what they say or, or see what they say. So you're going to have to show the string of what they send you. And the received string is, in a sense, it's a variable. So I'm going to take the received string and put it there. And so the way you can test this out on the simulator is that uh, you can actually click on the A button. I'm going to hit play there. Click on the A button. And what happens is a second microbit shows up as if it were on the receiving end. And you'll notice that the symbol comes up here for uh, the actual radio waves going across. So if I press the A button, now on the recipient microbit, uh, the message gets sent. And I believe this is Bluetooth, so it's probably 30 meters or so uh, in terms of distance across, uh, you know, how, how far of a distance they could reach each other. So if you're in a classroom, uh, you can easily reach each other from across the room. And so this one should be able to click A, and then it also sends that message. So with my students, uh, I might have one send a certain string, and the other person sets up the exact same set of code, and then types in a different string, and they send messages to each other. Okay, and that's it for radio communication.